welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to another one in my railway series. A revisit back to the Didcot Railway Centre. They've got us in steam day today. If you remember last time they weren't in steam but we had a good look around all of the museums and that sort of thing but promised some steam activity today. I'm at Didcot Parkway about to make my way under there so why not join me here on West Country Wanderings for another railway series adventure at Didcot Railway Centre.
The branch line is running, we do a staggered lunch break, sir. So okay. we come off for a while. So I've just seen King George, which is a Hunslet locomotive built in Leeds in 1932. The uncoupled from these carriages behind me, which has been shuttling backwards and forwards between the stations, the one down Oxford Road at the other end. That's been doing that all morning. They're now having a lunch break. It's been uncoupled, then went across through the gates here and then outside of the sheds to be rewatered. So I just got some shots of it being rewatered there, which is great to see them actually filling that back up with that water again. Really enjoying my day here at Didcot Railway Centre. There's lots to see. What I'm hoping to do next is grab some lunch and a coffee, and then we're going to go over to the broad gauge side and see if we can get a trip on that wonderful former rail car which shuttled around lots of the GWR branch lines in the area that I cover here on West Country Wanderings. So here I am back at the main Didcot Railway Centre side, just past Iron Duke again, just seen the cream and chocolate colour rail bus that used to operate on the Golden Valley line between Gloucester and Swindon. In fact, it went between Stonehouse and Cheltenham and Chelford, servicing all of the little halts on that line too. So yeah, it's really good to see that then. We're going to continue our tour here around the railway centre here at Didcot.
So behind me here is local number D9516, actually built at Swindon Works, just up the railway line here, proper GWR territory, of course. It was built, this one was built in 1964. There was 26 of them originally ordered. It's 060 diesel shunter, affectionately known as teddy bears. They entered service as a class 14, but fortunately for some reasons they didn't last long, but this is a great, Survivor here being completely restored and it does sterling work moving the passengers and visitors to the centre here between here and the broad gauge shed. So our diesel train pulling that GWR chocolate and cream iconic colours rail car has just left for the broad gauge shed where they've got uh, Iron Duke of course. So waiting for it to come back and see if we can get on it and probably get some shots from those large windows that they have on that rail car too. Well, I've been really enjoying the tour here today. The only fortunate is because it's a steam day, it means there's a lot more people here, so it is a bit trickier to film, but I'm hoping you've been enjoying the content here 
on West Country Wanderings. I'm back outside the signal box which I showed you in kind of part one of my visit to Dickock Railway Centre when it was in very different conditions. We had mist, it was really, really cold. And it, although that gave it an atmosphere to it, it's a lovely bright sunny day here today in West Oxfordshire. Now this lion's head behind me is actually a canopy bracket and in this area here they're actually in the process of rebuilding Upper Hayford railway station and they need 10 of these to support the canopy once the station has been completely rebuilt. They've actually got a cast which is in the Great Western Trust under their care but it's beautiful isn't it with this lion's head here in the railway colours of the GWR. It'd be fabulous to see this station recreated on the site here. So behind me here is where the Upper Hayford Station, or Hayford Station should I say, if you want to say Upper Hayford, that used to be uh, an RAF base, USAF base I think, maybe still is. But yeah this is, so it's in Oxfordshire of course, so this is the site, they've laid the concrete foundations to put the station in here. So it'll be really exciting when I come on a future visit here at some point here on West Country Wanderings to give you an update what work they've taken place here. Now the building components for this station which closed in the 1960s were salvaged in 1986. So they've put, been put safely into storage here. So it's, yeah, it would be really good to see this completely rebuilt again. Well that's it for now here on West Country Wanderings. I hope you enjoyed the tour here again at Didcot Railway Centre looking at both steam and diesel engines moving around this fantastic centre here in Os Oxfordshire. There'll be another railway series video on my channel soon. There'll also be other videos as well including walking ones, a return to the Seven Way, more Cotswold walking ones and walking some of the coastline in both Devon and Cornwall coming up later in the year too. So why not subscribe to the channel and hit the bell then YouTube will tell you when the next one uploads. Until then take care of yourselves, look after yourselves and I hope to see you on the channel again very very soon. All the best for now, bye bye.